regression analysis. We are going to talk about its concept, interpretation and reporting. The concept of regression. Regression technique is used to assess the strength of a relationship between one dependent and independent variable or variables. It helps in predicting the value of dependent variable from one or more independent variable or variables. Regression analysis helps in predicting how much variance is being accounted in a single response dependent variable by a set of independent variables or a single independent variable. This session looks into two kinds of regression, bivariate regression and multiple regression. Bivariate regression is similar to bivariate correlation because both are designed for situations in which there are just two variables. Whereas multiple regression was created for cases in which there are three or more variables. The different kinds of regression are more like correlation since they are utilized to evaluate the relationship among variables. This may make you think that regression is just another way to measure correlation. However, there are differences in correlation and regression in their purpose, labeling of variables and the kind of inferential tests applied. Now what are the differences? So the purpose of technique in correlation you are looking for association or connection between the two variables. Whereas in regression you are understanding link that is prediction and explanation. What are the labels attached? There are no labels in correlation. Whereas in regression there is a clear distinction between the dependent and independent variable or variables. The inferential tests. In correlation, it's the correlation coefficient that we are looking forward to, to assess the strength of relationship. But in regression, it's the regression coefficient, the intercept, the T statistics or the change in regression coefficient. Now, here are a few examples of situation where one could use regression analysis. The marketing manager wants to know if price reduction has any effect on increasing sales. The marketing manager wants to know if sales is dependent on factors such as advertising spend, number of products introduced or number of sales personnel. The HR department wants to predict the efficiency of management trainees based on their academic performance, leadership qualities, IQ level or any other factors. A social activist wants to know if increasing female literacy has any impact in increasing the age of marriage of the girl child. or how much variance in life satisfaction scores can be explained by following set of variables self-esteem, optimism and perceived control and which of these variables is a better predictor of life satisfaction. So in each of these above scenarios you have a clear dependent variable and a clear independent variable or set of independent variables. Now, the first or very basic type of regression is bivariate regression. This is the simplest regression analysis in which two variables are involved. One is your dependent variable while the other is your independent variable. The purpose of this kind of regression can be either prediction or explanation. However, bivariate regression is more are most frequently used to see how well scores on dependent variable can be predicted from data on the independent variable. So how well an independent variable helps in prediction of a dependent variable. Now the prediction of the value of a variable from one or more the or more other variables. So regression analysis is used to predict the values of a dependent variable given the values of one or more independent variables by calculating a regression equation. Now, for instance, a marketing manager would like to predict if variation in sales can be explained in terms of variation in advertising expenditure. Now, this is a very basic regression equation. Now, how do you put this in terms of a dependent variable and an independent variable? So, sales is your dependent variable. Why? We not this is your regression constant b1 is the beta coefficient advertising budget is your independent variable and e 
it represents the error terms that simply speaking accounts for all other factors that could account for variance in this dependent variable of sales so what does this beta 1 means or b1 means so one unit change in advertising budget will bring this much change into sales and what if there is no advertising budget so this will be the amount of sales beta naught now there are a few important terms that one should know before going into detail of how to run regression now the first is regression coefficient regression coefficient is measure of how strongly each iv also known as the predictor variable predicts the dv that is your criterion variable now there are two types of regression coefficients unstandardized regression coefficient and standardized coefficient also known as the beta value an unstandardized coefficient is used in the equation as coefficient of different ivs along with the constant term to predict the value of dv now standardized coefficient is however measured in standard deviation if there is just one iv predicting the dv the beta value would be the same as the correlation coefficient between the dv and the iv so what is the other statement or the other important term it's the r values we get two different types of r values regression analysis would provide two different r values a simple r value which actually represents the correlation between the observed values and the predicted values in bivariate correlation this is the correlation between the two uh, variables the other r value is the r square it is the square of r and gives the proportion of variance in the dependent variable accounted by a set of ivs chosen for the model if it's a, it's one iv so how much change in dependent variable is being brought up by this particular independent variable so r square is used to find out how well the ivs are able to predict the dependent variable however the r square value tends to be a bit inflated when the number of ivs is more or when the number of cases is large you also get adjusted r square which takes into account these things and gives more accurate information about the fitness of the model now for instance r square is in decimal points so if an r value of point if there is an r value of 0.70 this means that 70% change in the dependent variable is being caused by the independent variable or set of independent variables now before going into multiple regression we will run bivariate regression now, in order to do this we have got this example we have got these variables here yeah, already transformed so we are interested in evaluating the impact of this servant leadership on life satisfaction so servant leadership is our independent variable and life satisfaction is our dependent variable now in order to run this or run bivariate regression we simply go to analyze regression and linear now if you see here there is space for only one dependent variable now if you have got more than one dependent variable you can either go to structural equation modeling softwares like amos smart pls m plus that allow multiple dependent variables now in this case ls or life satisfaction is our dependent variable servant leadership is our independent variable you do not need to do anything else just press ok and you get your results now here are our results we get four tables now the first table variables entered or removed so in here you've got your independent variables independent variable and at the bottom it shows your dependent variable now what's the model summary we've already discussed r which is the correlation between servant leadership and life satisfaction which is 0.526 if you take the square of it it's 0.276 now what does this mean this means that 27.6 percent if you convert it into percentage it means that 27.6 percent change in life satisfaction can be accounted to or by servant leadership now servant leadership is explains 26 point sorry 27.6 percent variance in life satisfaction now is this significant now in order to judge its significance you come here to the ANOVA table 
and if you see the significance value is 0 0.000 which is less than 0 0.05 so this means that the impact is significant now in bivariate correlation you do not need to obviously go to the coefficient tables because if you see this is 0 0.526 same as the r value which we already discussed the t value is greater than 1.96 the significance value is less than 0 0.05 so now how do you report these results it's always advisable do not just copy and paste your tables into a microsoft document now in order to report it here is a template now our problem is to investigate if servant leadership has a significant impact on life satisfaction now based on this problem we have proposed this hypothesis there is a significant impact of servant leadership on life satisfaction now here is a template with a few blanks that we need to fill with the results now how do we do this so let's go through it the hypothesis tests if servant leadership carries a significant impact on life satisfaction the dependent variable which in this case is servant leadership sorry life satisfaction so the dependent variable life satisfaction was regressed on the predictor variable which is servant leadership to predict our h1 or test our h1 now dash significantly predicted dash so servant leadership significantly predicted life satisfaction because the relationship was significant so now what are these f values so if we go back to our results and here we see the degrees of freedom 1 and the residual is 219 so what we do is we add 1 here and we add 219 here and we add sorry we add the f value here and what is the f value the f value is 83.599 83.599 the p value is less than 0 0.001 which indicates that the servant leadership can play a significant role in shaping life satisfaction now the beta value let's see what our beta value is the beta value is 0.579 579 and the p value is less than 0 0.001 the results clearly direct the positive effect of servant leadership moreover the r square what is your r square value the r square value is 2.276 so 0.276 depicts that model explains now you change it into percentage so just multiply by multiply it by 100 so 27.6 percent of the variance in life satisfaction now you have to or it's always a good idea to present your findings in the table so this is our h1 these are our regression weights our independent variable or dependent variable the beta coefficient is 0.579 r square is 0.276 f value is 83.599 and the p value is 0 0.000 now what we do is just centralize it and yes our hypothesis is supported so this is how you can put the results into text format and describe the results and then put them in a table now what if you have got more than one independent variable and you want to evaluate or assess the impact of those independent variables on the dependent variable now this is called multiple regression if you go back so the concept of multiple regression is when you have more than one independent variable and you want to assess the impact of these independent variable on the dependent variable now how do you do this it's pretty simple let's remove this and we run our multiple regression analyze regression linear and instead of just one independent variable we will add the other two as well 
and just press OK. Now here the results are changed. If you look here, all your independent variables are in this cell, whereas your dependent variable is down here. Your model summary, so overall the correlation is 0.762, whereas the R square is 0.581. So 58.1% change in life satisfaction can be attributed to these three variables. And now, does these three variables have a significant impact on, li on life satisfaction? Yes, they have a significant impact on life satisfaction because the p-value is less than 0 0.05. Now, are all these three significant or maybe one or two are significant while other is insignificant? Now, in this case, if you come down to this coefficient table, this table becomes meaningful. If you look at servant leadership, yes, it has got a significant impact. The t value is greater than 1.96 and the coefficient also they are this one although a bit low but all others are over 0 0.20 so now how do you report these results similarly let's go back to our template and if you come down here our problem is to investigate the effect of servant leadership self-efficacy and job satisfaction on life satisfaction now we have proposed three hypotheses the first one being there is a significant impact of servant leadership on life satisfaction. The second one, there is a significant impact of self-efficacy on job satisfaction. Sorry, this should have been life satisfaction. Okay. Now, the third one, there is a significant impact of job satisfaction on life satisfaction. Now, in order to report multiple regression analysis, what you do is, let's remove this and we'll copy them later. Okay, now the dependent variable life satisfaction was regressed on the predicting variables of servant leadership, self-efficacy and job satisfaction. The independent variables significantly predicts life satisfaction. Now similarly you need to report your F value. So now there are three independent variables. So the degree of freedom has changed. So 3 and 2 and 7. So what we do is we add 3 here. 217 here and what's our F statistic it's 100.148 so 100.148 it has obviously increased and what's our p-value let's go back and look okay it's less than 0 0.001 so what we do is 0 0.001 which indicates that the three factors under this study have a significant so we do not remove need this significant impact on life satisfaction what's your r square so your r square is 0 0.581 0 0.581 so what it depicts is that it there is 58.1 percent of the variance in life satisfaction now table let's do shows the summary of the findings so what's your h1 and then your H2 and your H3. So your H1 is this. Now we need the beta value, the T values, the P values, and hypothesis. Now each of the hypothesis was supported, so we just need to write yes. We will write our R value here 0.581 and our F value here 100.148 and 3, 217. I'm just going to copy one row here. So the beta value is 0.155. The T value is 2.623. And the P value is 0 0.009 if I remember correctly. Yes. And similarly, obviously, you can copy the rest of the values in your table. So this is how you run, interpret and report both bivariate uh, regression and your multiple regression. You can obviously format the tables as uh, I normally do. So let's do one, no border. Let's give it a border and let's bottom border and then obviously since these are different to other results so just add a top part so this is how you can easily report your regression analysis thank you very much